Carl Lentz and his wife are starring in a new FX docuseries about the secrets of Hillsong. This is being reported by the Christian Post, and it seems like this is their attempt, I guess, to take back their narrative. Let's take a look at the story. So here it is, Carl Lentz and wife Laura to spill secrets of Hillsong in new FX docu-series all right so this is going to be interesting that just months after it says vowing to tell their story in the aftermath of a scx and leadership scandal that led to the firing from hillsong church nyc more than two years ago carl and his wife laura said to give their first public interview in a new docu-series set to premiere on fx in may called the secrets of hillsong now if you guys aren't familiar with what's going on there's the um Hillsong docuseries that came out on the Discovery Plus channel, which was an entire multi-layer, multi-part series exploring exactly what happened at Hillsong NYC, exploring what happened at the main campus, exploring what happened with Brian Houston and his dad. We covered it here on the channel. It was called Hillsong Exposed, and that was a doozy. And there was a lot of stuff about Carl in that first episode. Well, it seems like they're doing their own, I guess, response. This is their clapback of sorts, and they're gonna be telling the secrets about this whatever Hillsong debacle. There's, I'm sure, a whole lot to talk about uh, considering all the stuff with Brian Houston, and I'm sure they're going to give their version of events pretty soon here. Uh, it says, Scott, Scout Productions, an Emmy Award, uh, an Emmy and Academy Award uh, winning media company known for creating content such as Career Eye for Netflix in a documentary uh, called Equal, about early LGBTQ heroes, according to the website, first revealed in October 2021 that it was currently producing a documentary on the Hillsong Church, but did not review any further details. Okay, The name of the project was recently revealed in a Variety report, which notes that it is being created in partnership with Vanity Fair Studios and will be based on Vanity Fair's reporting on Hillsong. Vanity Fair published a report featuring interviews with a number of Hillsong volunteers and former congregants. The report included a revelation by Anna Crenshaw, who is the daughter of Victory Church senior pastor Ed Crenshaw, that in 29, there's some essay that happened by a Hillsong staff administrator and just all kinds of dark stuff we don't need to talk about for the sake of this video not coming down on YouTube, okay? Uh, it took a serious fight by Anna and her father to hold Mays, who is still listed as a creative director and head sink at Hillsong accountable. Gosh, so there's just scandal after scandal with all of this stuff, right? Along with the unprecedented access to uh, Laura and Lentz, The Secrets of Hillsong um, offers new insight into how decades of scandal and corruption went unchecked within the church, and more importantly, what it meant for the community left in their rubble. Wow. Uncovering stories that contend with power and the people who hold it, uh, it is the core to Vanity Fair's mission. The Secrets of Hillsong, which is set to premiere May 19th, uh, with two episodes followed by two more episodes on May 26th, come after another docuseries that features reporting the Christian Post build as a Hillsong, a megachurch exposed, which, which we talked about at the beginning of this stream. And so they are now going to be doing this entire thing. This is talking about some of the money that got invested and how stuff was spent. And of course, the recent news that we just addressed about Hillsong, uh, at, well, Carl Lentz now coming alongside Mike Todd in Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma as a quote unquote strategist, right? So this was just announced at the same time. And so I think the question that a lot of folks are going to have is what does this practically mean? What new details are going to be talked about? Is this appropriate? Is this something that is going to be beneficial? Is this them owning their narrative or is this going to be them actually being vulnerable and taking some of the accountability that they need to take. Now, before I share my perspective and my view on this, I got to show you something pretty interesting. Hey, you want to see something crazy? Over 51% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. And the ones that are subscribed, only 10% have their bell notification on. So do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on so you don't miss anything we have going here. All right. I appreciate you. So with regards to this entire debacle, what do I make out of it? Well, I think that it may be wise for Hillsong and for Lentz specifically and Brian Houston and all these folks to probably deal with these things quietly and maybe not 
create more and more docu-series around docu-series in response to docu-series. I don't know if this is going to be something that is actually going to be beneficial for Lentz if there's no accountability taken by him for the areas that he's clearly and overtly fallen short in that multiple folks have came out about. Now, if he does that, then I think that's going to be a step in the right direction. If it's just more fluff, more media, more this, more that, I don't think it's going to be beneficial in terms of trying to turn around his reputation. Doing an entire docuseries like this to tell his side of the story, probably not a good look, probably not going to be something that's going to be fruitful and beneficial, but I don't know, we haven't seen it yet. I'm hoping and I'm believing and I'm praying that he takes ownership and accountability for the multiple things that happen, not just the thing that he already took ownership and accountability for with the girl that he met at the park and that entire scandal, but the other stuff that's been murmuring behind the scenes for years about his leadership style, about the lack of accountability, about him kind of running rampant with some of these other areas. So I don't know if that's what's actually going to be happening. Generally speaking, with Lentz making an entire uh, backstory of, 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 of this whole story on top of him coming to transformation, I would have loved to see him sit underneath someone a bit more seasoned. I would have to see him sit underneath someone that's an elder to him, someone that can help him grow in the areas that he's weak in, in terms of his character and his integrity. I think personally that that would have been the W in the situation. But nevertheless, I don't know. Maybe this turns into a good thing. Maybe this turns into something that he can turn around and he could share whatever his side of the story is. I don't know. But what we knew for sure is that, goodness gracious, where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And there is a lot of smoke and fire behind all of this Hillsong stuff. And was Carl Lynch just someone that was kind of a victim of an unchecked culture? Or was he someone that perpetuated abuse and all kinds of stuff happening that was not good? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find out and I'm sure wisdom will be proven right by our children in a decade from now, 15 years from now, in terms of what happens with this entire debacle. So those are my thoughts on this entire situation. If you wanna hear the response and the reaction that I had recently to the announcement of him coming on staff with Transformation Church and Mike Todd, we'll have that pinned up over here. If you want to go the extra mile and partner with what we're doing here for as little as $5 a month in our online community, get exclusive access to podcasts before they go public, get exclusive access to our daily after-party streams, Discord, discount codes, and much more, we'll have that pinned up here. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.